Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt, Train Level 943. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a new item I got in from Mario's Trains. Now, in the last video, which was the unboxing of the stuff, the audio for this part just stopped. I have no idea why, but this is the Broadway Limited O scale water tower with sound and the motorized spout. So, this thing is really cool. I got it in the New York Central name because I'm a New York Central fan, so figured why not, right? So we're going to go ahead and open this thing in today's video and set it up and see what she's got. Now, I have seen this, the HO version, I saw it when it first came out and I'm like, this is really cool. And then I think a year or so later, they came out with the O scale version and just now in 2020, I'm picking it up. So it was a little tricky to find one. I was going to do the plain Jane Brown but the New York Central one is just really cool. So, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. Alrighty. Here's our box. Motorized with sound. So, here's the top. In the back. We have some information here. I know it's kind of cut off a little bit. Then here's a picture of an engine with the water spout and what it does. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'll put it here so that way we can do it here. Now this is my first time opening this. It's also my first Broadway limited item because I don't really make anything for O scale besides this. So let's go ahead and have a look. I like the glossy paint on the box. Really cool. Right. Pull it out. Right, what do we got in here? We have. Uh, let's see. Hertz diagram. Right here. Here's our instructions. Now this is for DC and for DCC, but and believe me, it would be the same for AC as well. Alright, so I moved this over to the workbench so we got some better lighting. So, let's go ahead and have a look here. So, I guess it just comes right off, yeah. Here's an ad for their, uh, some HO locomotives. For 2017, and then there are choo choo shoes. Oh, got something, something weird in there. Almost looks like a fly or something. Kind of weird. Alright, that's in the garbage. So now let's get the power itself out. Wow, this has got some weight to it. Holy smokes. Piece of tape around the button. So this is the sound activation button that I'm removing now. Here. Yeah, that's, that's got some real weight to it. Wow. And then down here we have some screws. That's to mount the button, which I'll probably use longer screws on these. I have some one and what are they? One of the quarter inch screws. All right, so here we go. So, so here's our button. And this should mount to the board and the mount like this. And here's our wires that go to the unit itself. And then these two, the red and black, they go to our power supply. So what I'll do is I'll probably fire it up on the bench just so we can take a look at it. As far as the unit itself, yeah, this, this thing is really heavy. 
Alright, so I have the tower hooked up, and according to the instructions, basically all we do is we hook our red and black to hot and common, and that'll do it. So if I bring it over, there's our button, and then I just have it gator gripped to the track. So, I'm going to give us some power here. We'll go about right there. So I'll push the button and see what happens. Working out, you know. Watch it, watch it, no, the Let's move out. That is really cool. Right, so I got a bird's eye view here, and we'll go ahead and take a look at this now. In the instructions here it says that they have different sound effects here so we will try the indefinite sound effect so to do that we press the button once and then we press it again within five seconds and the sound effects will play indefinitely so let's go ahead and give that a try here so and I believe I have this in in position but we'll see so push the button and then once within five seconds Let's see. There we go. Now this is obviously a bigger tender, so the water hatches on this one are a little bit different. So I have to play with the position of the thing. I guess that must not have done it. Let's move out. Let's see. A single time start the water fill sequence. Press the button a second time within five seconds. The water sound will play indefinitely. So let's let me try it one more time here. This is my first time playing with this, so I'm I'm new to this. What you got, you know? We're behind schedule. Huh. Now I have to play around with it. Then it says if you after the initial five seconds you could push the button again and it'll shut it off, so let's try that one. Push it again. It should shut it down. Yep. Time to roll. So that is really pretty cool. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and install this on the layout. Alright, so we're up bird's eye view again and I installed it on the layout. Now it's not 100% permanent, but it does work and I am just it looks even better over here obviously because I can put an engine next to it now I still gotta play with the placement of the tower because certain engines like this 280 and you'll be able to see it is when I hit the button is the spout kinda it just barely gets on this 
hatch so I'm gonna have to mess around with it move it this way or that well actually I move it towards this track a little bit not this way or that way um, so I will do that but for now it's just awesome and this is my only engine that is like this with this kind of hatch all the other ones are like the H10 that you saw in the beginning so let me hit the button and I'll show you how, the, how I got this wired up here I'll try the automatic with a indefinite so you can see it works but it's it's really close to the edge there but it's still awesome Let's move out. Let's move out. Yes, that is really cool. Now, I think it's cool by itself, but I'm going to try one more thing here. All right, so the real fun happens is when you combine the water tower sound effects with engine sounds. So if you can hear me, uh, I'm going to do the water fill sequence on this E6 and I'll combine it with the water tower. So here we go. Swing that fold over. Water level sounds 300. So yeah, that is, that's where the fun really happens. Alright, so as far as wiring goes, it was really pretty simple. So right here, this is the button that, when you push the button, obviously the sounds play. So what I had to do to get it here was I had to extend the wires, that was pretty simple. And as far as connecting it to power, I actually kind of jury-rigged it a little bit. So I have these gator clips under here. and. I have those just because I'm eventually going to move this tower. I'm going to be doing some layout work, which I'm not going to tip my hand to just yet, but it, it involves moving the engine house around, engine yard around a little bit. So, But I'll talk about that later on. But So for right now, this is how I have it, and I just I am very, very impressed by this. So yeah, if you guys haven't already guessed, I really, really like this tower. I, I'm very happy with it and I'll definitely be using it for a long time here. So now like I said MTH makes a similar version of this tower. The model's a little bit different but the operation and the sound effects are similar so I'm actually probably going to get the MTH tower. Right now it's currently on back order so if I decide to do it I'll probably throw my pre-order in and I believe they're slated to come around October or November I think. Something like that. So but yeah, this Broadway Tower, this thing is really, really cool. And I'll show it in videos and stuff like that. But for now, that's it. So we'll go ahead and talk to you guys next time.